Hello, I'm MaggieX, so again, welcome back to the video. So there's some pretty interesting Minecraft Java edition news to share with you all because another pre-release for the Minecraft 1.13 update is now out. So these pre-releases are official candidates for the full release of the game, and that means that they're not really necessarily adding too many features, they're mostly all about fixing bugs and getting the community's feedback as to whether this would be a good version of 1.13, which means that we're pretty close towards the end of this because they fixed so many bugs in this update. However, today we're not here to talk about those bugs, we're here to talk about the two other interesting things inside the update, the first of which is they've reverted the Bark Blocks, the number one community requested change, so that's wonderful to see. As you can see, Bark Blocks look so much better, and they've also added six new blocks to the game based on those Bark Blocks that aren't what you necessarily would expect, so I'm going to be going through explaining exactly what's going on in today's video. Hopefully you do all enjoy this. Give it a like if you do like it, because it helps out the channel a lot. Let's say you do like the Minecraft uh, update news videos, uh, you know, letting you know that they're out and that you can download them, and also letting you know what's inside, because in this case, uh, again, the 1.13 pre thing just says we reverted the Bark Blocks, and as you can see, the Bark Blocks now look how they're meant to. So the big controversy, if you missed it, was that in 1.13 pre-1, at the last minute they decided to change the bark blocks to be unique designs. They were slightly, you know, not perfect on every side. They didn't look like a wood block that was just six-sided. Instead, it looked like something else, which was nice. It worked as a branch, but they decided rather than doing that, because a lot of people hated it, the point of bark blocks was to be a six-sided wood block, is they reverted it. And now, as you can see, uh, for instance, this is a jungle bark block. It looks like just, you know, jungle on all sides. This is what a jungle log looks like, where it has log on two sides. This is just purely that. So I think that's easy enough to explain, but just in case you're curious as to what I mean by that, that is why people are excited about the bark blocks in this update, but there's one other thing to be excited about in this update, and uh, there's another one which was announced already, but there was one secret thrown in this update, so secret features, if you don't know, are features not included inside the updates, they're only found, you know, by doing stuff like watching a video like this, and uh, because of that, I wanted to talk about a secret feature found in here that's not too huge of a deal, but it is definitely a big deal if you like stripped blocks, because in this update, the 1.13 update, you're already probably aware of the fact that you can actually strip strip a oak wood block or a jungle wood block or anything like that and you get a block which looks like this. However, as of 1.13 pre 2, you can now strip a uh, you know a bark block and you'll get a six sided stripped wood block. So there is now stripped bark as okay, so as you can see, this is stripped jungle bark and this is stripped jungle wood. There are separate blocks uh, and that means that there are six brand new blocks in the game because each of these six blocks right here. So for instance, if we take our you know like our oak block, we can strip it. Now we've got stripped oak bark as well as stripped oak wood. We've got stripped Birch block as well, bark as well as stripped. Oh, uh, we you, not. You get the point. Uh, stripped jungle bark, stripped acacia bark, stripped dark oak, and stripped. Uh, you know, a spruce. They all exist now, and in my opinion, they're objectively better versions of the block from before. Uh, I think I'd probably use these a lot more. Again, I would probably use the other ones sometimes for very specific place cases. But I think, for instance, looking at this block right here, it's just the best looking, uh, you know, bark block. I love this so much. This is like a real usable block in its own case, like outside of even wood. Just use this as a really nice color. This is a really solid form of wood. I just love that we have six new types of wood in this update. That was kind of a surprise on top of what already came out. So yeah, you can download 1.13 pre-2 now. You get six properly fixed blocks, the bark blocks that is, as well as six brand new strip bark blocks as well. Uh, you know, of course, we're excluding bug fixes because like I assume you just assume those and most people aren't too bothered by bug fixes, but what you might be bothered by is one more change they made in this update. They announced this one, but in case you missed it, uh, basically they announced that they would make it so that packed ice will be uh, now craftable into blue ice. So yeah, as of 1.13 on the Java, you will now be able to take nine of these and make one blue ice. So it's not a great ratio because even an entire stack of uh, packed ice, if we take all of this and we spread it out, as you can see, we're going to get very little out of this. Oh, it's going to be like less than uh, you know six, it looks like. Uh, so this is going to be a nightmare. It looks like, yeah, we're going to get about six in total of all of this, uh, and that's terrible that a whole stack will give you roughly six or seven of these sorts of things, and yeah, my point with all of this is that getting, uh, you know, blue ice is going to be a very hard thing. You won't, most of the time, you won't want to change packed ice into blue ice, but if for some reason you don't spawn near it, you now will be able to get it, and I like that they've done that, honestly, because even though you won't want to do this, having the option is just a nice thing in the game. It's a cool little change that, let's be honest, 99% of players will never run across, and uh, I, I like those personally. I'm, I'm down with it, and I like it. So yeah, uh, 1.13 pre-2, out now, go download it, it's in the Minecraft launcher. Uh, as to how close the 1.13 full release is, I still think there's some time to go, there's still bugs to be fixed, I think it's better. I'm glad they listened to the community so much on the bark blocks, on fixing bugs, on delaying it so that they could get these bugs fixed, but I think that will push the update back, uh, back another you know, week, maybe two weeks, maybe three weeks, but I'll keep you up to date uh, as to how the 1.13 release goes. But for now, I hope you all enjoyed this video, I hope that you download 1.13 free too if you are a Java Edition player, because it's pretty much uh, complete as far as I can tell. Uh, 
second. I mean, like, as far as you'll tell, if you just want to play some survival in 1.13, this is pretty much the full deal. But again, I'll let you know as soon as the full update's out. I know a lot of people like the bug-free experience, kind of in the same way people are waiting for 1.5 still in uh, the console editions, and waiting for TU66, although there's no beta there. People want to play the final unbated releases, and I'll let you know as soon as that happens on this channel. But for now, I hope you all enjoyed seeing uh, beta pre-2. This was just a fun little bonus video, so give it a like if you like it. Give it a share if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe with them notifications turned on if you love me and you think that that's the best way to show it on the internet, which pro tip it totally is. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.